Hey everybody, back again for another short video. Well, I checked the Next Level Racing website today and they finally updated their application that runs the Next Level Racing Heptic Seat Pad. They said it was going to be done last month, a hey, couple weeks, I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm going to do is a quick video, probably real quick on how to install it. They, the, the, again, um, a lot of these companies just don't really give you very good directions and you can't really find a lot of information. So I just found it today, noticed that it, needed, it could be updated, went through it and let's um, head over to the site and check it out. So what you got to do is go over to the next level racing site. This is if you have the Heptic seat pad. You get over to the site and on the right hand side of the screen, you find your three little bars, click on them, go to drivers and downloads and we'll wait for their site and here it is. The newest one that I run is the 1.1.4.3 beta. I didn't look into the other one because that's the last version. I'm not sure. I don't think they've updated it there yet. So basically what you're going to do is you all know how to do this. Just click on it, download it. Don't have to worry about it there. We'll go over here to this folder. We'll go to downloads, find it right here, double click it, open it up, and you just you have to close HFA application that you had installed. You got to close it before you do this update. You run the update. Whoop, ran. Okay. So you go over to the next level, double click the icon on your screen, open up the application. And this is where it got a little bit tricky because with the Sim Shaker, I just ran the program and it worked. And like I said, I had some issues. If you watched the last video with the Sim Shaker, if I would like have a hard landing and the jet or crash landed, it all got shot or whatever, blown up in the air, the um, seat would continue to vibrate. I'd have to turn it off and turn it back on. Obviously, it did work, but it didn't work perfect because it wasn't made for this seat pad. So once you get over here, you can go over to your settings. I usually have start with window and auto detect, but you still have to do this. You still have to go through the other step. So you go back, you can see right here, DCS, finally, you got Microsoft Flight Sim, X-Plane, it has all three of those games in there, and it has a, really a lot more racing games, I think they're really big into that, like, let's check this out, open the whole thing up. So we've got quite a few racing games underneath filters, so anyways, DCS, you click on that, I turned everything on, it's all on 100%, because you also have like a, a knob where you can control the intensity, kind of like a volume knob that it's on oh right here that explains it all if you're using pc what you need to do is if you hold the button down for five seconds and you wait for it to turn orange or you basically if it's on the lowest setting it'll turn white and you can turn it all the way up to when it gets starts getting yellow orange and red is full power if you're using it on an Xbox or something like that, it comes up a different color. That's about the only thing it says about it in the manual. Okay, so we're here. So what you need to do is go up to export. This is what I was getting a little bit confused about because there's really no information on how to do this. It's just there. You click on export and after it's installed, you're gonna find this file. This is what's gonna pop up because you've clicked on the DCS button already. So you're gonna get this. You click on that and you select save. I've already got it, so I'm not going to save it. Or shall I say, I already have it, so I'm not going to save it over again. From there, you go over to your import. You open that up. You highlight that. It goes down there. You want to make sure it goes into your DCS folder. It doesn't have to be the open beta folder because I think that holds some other script. It may even copy and put it in there. But I put it in just the DCS folder, and trust me, it worked fine. So, again, you hit open, and then you go over here, and you hit import that imports everything the script into the game script okay i'm not going to do that again i already did it and that's going to pretty much wrap it up for that as far as your settings i mean you can manually set 68 percent 10 percent whatever you want it to be at like i said i i just use the um i just use the knob and you'll get all of this stuff for settings so ejection and that works the whole seat vibrated one big like snapping vibrate if you go into a stall gunfire underneath the underneath the front of your, your legs underneath the front of your legs is where you'll feel the uh, the main vibrating landing gear you're gonna feel more vibrating and thumping on the whole bottom of the seat speed brake the four pucks on the back of the seat in the pad that's gonna do more shaking than anything else g-force 
pretty much everything kind of like shakes a bit and flaps gives you kind of a mild vibration of when the flaps go down and then it stops so that's my description of pretty much how it feels and it, it definitely does work and it brings a little bit of immersion into the game so with, with some other things you can also go to your home page and if you want to test stuff i can hear it vibrating from here i did this in the last video everybody's seen it so that's going to pretty but that's going to pretty much about wrap it up i wanted to keep this short i just wanted to let everybody know the update is out dcs is available for the seat pad and if you're interested in purchasing it you can you can click on the link down below go over to go over to their site pick it up it's on sale a little bit i paid it was 229.99 something like that when when i got it and it's down to 199 today it definitely has dropped a little bit in price so i find it worth it to get that little extra feeling a little bit a little more immersion in the game so i you know i recommend it if it's something you're interested in anyways that's gonna about wrap it up it's sunday got a few things to do that i want to do a little flying so everybody you have a great rest of the week weekend night whatever Whatever it may be when you see this, take care. Peace.